Hi guys, welcome to SVM TV. Today we are bringing you coverage of the Classic Motor Show in Birmingham NEC. We have a few people lined up to meet and we have some exciting news for something we're covering in 2016. We're going to have a walk around, show you a few of the cars and meet a few people. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. the Burton power stand and we have had the pleasure of talking to Barry Lee and his son Freddie Lee they're going to talk to us about their oval racing and their circuit racing let's go over and have a chat with them hello I'm Barry Lee four times world national hot rod champion the cars that you're seeing now this particular one is I won the world championship in 1975 in this and you can see the rusty old trophy on the top means to say that it's nearly as old as me Basically, next to us is another Mark II Escal, which was Duffy Collard's car, and he was one of the big three, George Porry, Barry Lee, and Duffy Collard. They both won one World Championships. They're not as good as me, because I won four, would you believe? Now, National Hot Rods is going from strength to strength. We also do bangers on a quarter mile oval. We do stock cars, super stocks, many other formulas. And we actually, Dean, uh, 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 Dean you are one of the promoters on this. Give me an insight to the national hot rodding. Well, at the moment, the national hot rod scene is incredibly buoyant. Uh, we actually had six British touring car drivers racing national hot rods this year, uh, which helped us immensely from a publicity point of view. It's brought a lot of drivers back into the sport, further development. There's, uh, there's new body shapes, new styles of cars, new chassis coming out. It's going to be very exciting next season. So we've got national, uh, in the national hot rod racing, we've got the British touring car boys coming out to do that. So we're not going that way, they're coming back this way. Most of the drivers in touring cars, or a quarter of percent of the drivers in touring cars, are from the national hot rods. That is the background. The new form we've got is what we call uh, a legend. So let's go and have a quick look at that. Now this is the legend. Now if you want to see close racing, imagine 25 of these cars around a quarter mile oval doing something like 14 seconds a lap. That is quick. Now also they race these legends on the big circuits with my son actually in the pickups, which you'll talk about later or he will talk about later on. Where do you think this is going on the quarter mile ovals, Dean? Well. They came over from America around about 10 to 12 years ago and uh, they've been incredibly popular and, and season on season they're gaining more and more drivers. The great thing about the Legends is that uh, you have the choice of being an owner driver and obviously competing in your own car but there's several people such as Matt Roach here who hire out cars as well so you can do a, a, a ride and drive type system as well so it's accessible to a lot of people. Now these have a motorbike engine in power to weight ratio is absolutely phenomenal come along to one of the circuits for the national hot rods and also the legends see the bangers see the super stocks see many other forms of motorsport on the quarter mile oval i now hand you over to my son freddie lee that will talk about the form of racing that he's in hi i'm freddie lee and uh, we're here on the burton power stand and i'm next to my uh, 2015 uh, winning pickup truck uh, race car it's a Vauxhall 2.3, about 270 brake horsepower, and uh, we race all over Europe on the oval at Rockingham and also on the circuits. Uh, myself, I started racing at eight years old um, in karting, and I've gradually gone through the ranks of Fiestas and Mini Stock and Janetta. And uh, yeah, it's been a good year for me. Very thankful for the opportunities I've had from all my sponsors. And uh, yeah, it's been a great year to finish it off. Um, here with one of my sponsors, Burton Power, and also with my dad's car, um, his World Championship replica. Um, yeah, it's a really good day. So, uh, looking forward to next year and uh, seeing seeing what other opportunities there are, and hopefully racing again and going for the championship. Hi guys, 
guys, some exciting news for you. Next year, we're going to be following the classic and retro Time Attack Championships. I'm here with Alan, who drives this absolute beauty of a car, and they are currently the 2015 Time Attack Champions. He's going to give you a talk about how it went uh, this year and a bit of spec on the car. Alan. Thank you. Okay, so this uh, here we have a 1986 Ford Sierra XR4 before. Um, we brought it a fair few years ago and the team that I'm involved with, Paul Taylor and Wayne Tolley, uh, we built the whole car from the ground up. Uh, we spent a year building it and everything you see on the car is done by us apart from the mapping. The front bumper is specifically aerodynamically designed by myself. Uh, that's made up of a Sierra bumper and a Mitsubishi Evo bumper. Um, it gives great downfalls for obviously the cornering. Um, the car itself, it's been lightened a bit, it's been stripped. Um, it needs lightening more over the winter. It's got a fiberglass bonnet on it, um, and the engine is a two litre Cosworth engine. Um, we brought the engine and totally stripped it down. Everything on it is totally brand new, low comp pistons, new turbo. Um, it has an original Sierra Cosworth RS500 Motorsport intercooler, alloy radiator, which thankfully keeps it cool and not blow it up. Um, it has big 330 Capara AP braking brakes on it as well. Uh, full stainless 3 inch system. Current power of it is 446 brake horsepower. Um, we're in two minds whether to up it or just leave it for reliability at the moment. We're looking forward to um, next season, 2016 Time Attack Classic and Retro. Um, we're looking at gaining a couple of more sponsors and we very much look forward to SVM TV following us throughout the season as well. Um, it'd be great to get uh, some decent video footage because all I have is a little camera in the car, so that would be nice. Um, but yeah, more sponsors for the car and just see if we can improve on our weaknesses from this season. I hope you all enjoyed that talk from Alan um, and I hope you're all as excited as we are to be following them next year. It's going to be amazing, so stay tuned and we'll bring you all the coverage in 2016. guys we've had a brilliant day at the classic motor show in NEC we've seen so many cars we've met really cool people we're going to be following those classic and retro time attack champions next year in 2016 what a great way to end it with this enormous Rolls Royce behind me thanks for watching guys please subscribe and if there's anything you'd like to see let us know cheers